In just three simple steps, I'm going to show you how you can build your AI that understands emotion. No coding experience required. Let me show you how. So before we begin, my name is Chitran Shu and I'm a data science student at IIT Madras and currently involved in research and development of startups revolving around large language models and recently published a paper that was accepted on international conferences. So before going to our screen, let me explain you some concept first that will help us later. What AI exactly is? So think of it like you are giving a decision making capabilities to your machine. Like you will be giving some problem statements, machine will be using its intelligence that we created while making the model. So this is the two different parts. One is you creating the model AI model and another is you utilizing that model and doing some predictions or you applying that on some applications. So here in this video, we will be using that model to apply it into a, some real world scenario and we will be giving some examples and see how it gives us the output. So that will make our work easier and get understanding of what actually AI can do. Here we are with the demo. This is what we will be building in this video. This is amazing. Like you will be just giving it the text and this is uh, this will be using the uh, model of the AI model that we will be building in this video without any coding in, in experience. I will be explaining you what each a few lines are. And then you can uh, build something uh, like this, like here we will be passing the text and it will be using its intelligence, its decision making capabilities to tell whether this sentence is positive, negative or neutral. So suppose let's uh, run uh, on this example, then we will try to change it and do some experimentation. So suppose say I give this text. I love using AI to solve problems. This is so frustrating. I can't figure it out. The movies are okay. Not too good, not too great, but not terrible either. So if I run this, it will give me the sentiments and see how quick it was. For this text, it is saying this is positive. And yeah, really it is. You can see the text sentiment is a positive. And for this uh, statement, it says, negative because it is kind of a negative feedback and for this movie was okay tip. and also it gives the confidence score like how confident it is for these predictions now the big question comes that why are we using ai to solve this problem we can use programming also means we can use coding or we can use our uh, build logic in some programming language and then solve this same problem through that programming language but why are we using AI to get this solve this problem because for some tasks there are many possibilities and for each possibility you can't give instructions to your machine because programming is just giving instructions to do certain tasks because while programming you have to specify everything at every step what exactly the machine has to do but for AI you give the decision making capabilities so that it can figure out on its own. You will be showing some past historical data to it and it will be building its own intelligence like how to handle some scenarios that it have not seen before on the basis of some other historical data that he, it has already seen. And that puts AI far ahead of programming for some specific tasks like this emotional intelligence that will predict the sentiment of user that what user is trying to say like is it positive or negative or neutral or whatever so for the purpose of this video we will be using google collab and python to build this tool why python because python has a rich libraries that will help us to build this tool because we don't have to write everything from scratch we will be using libraries now what is libraries just give me a minute i will be explaining you in detail and now why we'll be using google collab because google collab has some really uh, great functionalities we don't have to set up anything on our desktop we will be just going on a google or a firefox or your browser here you will type google collab and on this first link you have to just sign up or using your uh, Gmail or Google uh, Gmail ID. And from here, you will see this new notebook option. So you will click on that. A new notebook, a fresh notebook will appear to you where you can write your Python script. And it is very easy. 
and now from here i can start coding and that's it you don't have to set up anything now here you can write anything like uh, print hello world and i can run this and that should work here it is connected once it is connected so it will start working for you and you can write here your python script and it will work smooth as i told you before in this video we will not be building a model so because this model building is the main important part that requires that requires hard work that requires patience that requires like collecting data processing data manipulating data performing eda exploratory data analysis and a whole lot of computations to build this model but in this video we will be using this model and making predictions on our on our some examples to do that we will require some libraries now what are libraries so libraries are like some pre-written code that someone has already written so that we can use it and build something on top of it that we don't have to write all the whole lines of code again we will just be telling what we have to do and we will take the help of those pre-written code also called as library transformer is a one such a library that we will be using for to create our uh, this ai uh, in this video now what is sentiment analysis sentiment analysis is like whatever you say you will try to figure out what is the meaning of that sentence suppose you give a comment on this video that i like this video this is a really informative and helpful now i will use my intelligence to analyze that sentence to figure out the sentiment of the user like whether he is satisfied not satisfied or he like this video or not but the machines can't do that but using ai we will be giving it some decision making capabilities so that it is emotionally intelligent and can tell whether the particular sentence is positive negative or neutral 